stuck in Windsor. I was caught in a I was caught in a quagmire. I, I couldn't get out. I hit my ceiling off of Windsor. I, I, I felt like I hit my head off the ceiling of Windsor so many times that I was becoming uh, just dizzy from it and I was losing my, my hope to even want to make artwork anymore. Uh, just too many years of that shit. And then a friend gave me money to get the fuck out and moved to Toronto. Yeah. And I started, this is how I'd like to describe it. They say, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. <laughs> And I say, fuck you. If you can make it happen in Windsor, you can make it fucking happen anyway. <laughs> the toughest goddamn place. Windsor is like the gravitation, the gravity on Jupiter. Where it's like, it's like, like 10,000 pounds. It's like 100 times worse than fucking Earth. <laughs> Moving to Toronto, it's like you're the gravity on Pluto. You can jump 50 feet high. Mm -hmm. Finally, when I got out of Windsor, it was like, holy shit, I can jump 50 feet in the air. Why? I opened up galleries. And there's an audience here for everything I did. There's um, What's the difference? Because Is when, it just I, numbers? when I ring the dinner bell, ding, 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 people fucking come. Right. In Windsor... And there's so little to do in Windsor that you turn off and you tune out. So the less there is to do, the less you go out, the less you go out, the less there is to do, the less you go out, the fucking bubble. There were so many super cool people I met in Windsor. They go, oh, I don't go out anymore. I'm like, what? You fucking crazy? You're the coolest fucking person. I, I mean, you don't go out. Right. They did. They just, they turned off and they tuned out and they don't go out. Right. And so... The more that happens, the more it eats itself alive from from within. Um, so, based on that, and, and then when you finally do get these people, I used to have to make personal phone calls to invite people to come out. When you finally do get them to come out, um, they'll come out once, go, wow, and it's a fucking great night. What a great fucking time. So then two months later, you call them back to another event, but they don't go out. Yeah, I don't feel like that. They're, they're the one-time willies that they'll come out once a year. Right. So, if you can make it happen in Windsor fucking Ontario, you can make it happen anywhere. Think of Windsor as, as a basic training camp for the, big, for the big city. And quite often, it's people that are from Windsor come here to Toronto or are kicking the shit out of the place. Yeah, there's, there's, there's there are a lot some serious, of uh, Tim McCready kicks the shit out of the place. Uh, a fucking Andrew, uh, Andrew Lockheed was kicking the shit out of Toronto. There are a ton of Windsorites that come here and punch the fucking pillow right out, man. Yeah. It's because Windsor's a fucking, Windsor's got that fucking thing, man. There's, it, uh, you know, like the heart, you know, hard sharpens hard, or steel, steel sharpens steel, yeah. right? That kind of thing. Crop steel. You think there's... Strong as crop steel. You think the edge of Windsor has... Uh, has Windsor's got no edge. It just, it's just, it is what it is. It's the gravitational pull that I discussed. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the gravity here's less. That'll do it for this episode of the ABB Podcast. Don't forget you can subscribe to our full audio episodes on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or anywhere you find your audio podcasts. The full episodes, highlights, and our live off-the-floor performance videos can be found at our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The AVB Podcast. Of course, you'll find links to our incredible sponsors and this week's guest in the description below. The AVB Podcast is part of the Border City Network. Find more great content at BorderCityNetwork.com. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.